Well, here's something I never thought I'd say. Gary Waddick, welcome back to Aldershot Town. Yeah, it's great to be back. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. How, how does it feel? Yeah, it's good, you know, walking into the, into the ground again and, you know, looking around and bumping into some familiar faces as well. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling and the sun's out as well. It's a fantastic morning. It is indeed. And you feel this is the right time, the right club, first and foremost, to return to first team management? Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to go back into management, and um, obviously uh, the opportunity here uh, arose, and uh, I'm uh, very, very pleased to uh, be now confirmed as the manager of this uh, great football club. Did you take much convincing? What What was the process? It has been a quick process. Yeah, it's been very quick. Um, you know, uh, Shahid, John, and Brian. Um, you know, had a, a number of conversations with them. Uh, met up and you know I was excited by what they said to me the plans that they've got um, and obviously it was an opportunity for me to come back into management as well and um, that's what I've been wanting to do looking to do um, yeah as I say I'm looking forward to the the next chapter and that that swift appointment suited all parties I presume I think so yeah um, also I've got to say thank you to to Barnet as well you know Tony Kalianthos and uh, Martin Allen for allowing uh, me permission to speak to the club and for allowing it to happen you know and in obviously in Martin's case as well he was uh, he was fantastic uh, for me during the period of time that I was working with him and uh, I'd like to thank you know Barnet you know uh, as I say Tony Martin the players and obviously the fans there of course you've got loads of history with all shot down and I know for me watching Torquay watching Exeter watching so many other games you can't watch those without feeling the emotion, getting a lump in your throat. How, how do you reflect on those two and a half wonderful years? Yeah, and uh, as you're saying, a uh, smile comes across my face. So that tells you uh, how much uh, that meant to all of us here. Um, but as you rightly say, that was part of the, part of the, the club's history. That, that was going back um, a number of years now. And it's nice to reflect back on it. Uh, but, you know, we've got to... We've got to try and build something uh, in the here and now. It's about now. And, you know, I, I won't refer back to it every other week. Um, we'll, we'll speak about it today. Wonderful time for everybody associated and linked to the club, you know, and for the supporters who played a massive part in that achievement. You know, we've got to put something in place now and build something here now. And it won't happen overnight because it's um, coming into a different club. Um, but, the plans are, you know, obviously behind the scenes in place. Um, I don't want to dampen down too much expectation, but I'm coming in at a different level in terms of where the club is and what's, what we're trying to do. You know, there was a, a foundation here before. Not saying there isn't one now, but uh, we need to build a solid foundation both, both on, on and off the pitch, uh, which, is, which is beginning to happen. So uh, I'm looking forward to that challenge and uh, hopefully putting something in the, in the club's history. Good, good. And you have got that unique place and you clearly don't believe in the adage of never going back. No, it's, um, you know, you can look across the, the board in terms of managers who've gone, gone back to clubs um, and they've been successful or, or they haven't worked out. But, um, you know, I can look at managers like John Coleman who's gone back into, you know, Accrington and, uh, you know, Nigel Clough who's gone back into Burton. Um, and they've, they've been able to grasp the club, get hold of the club uh, and take it forward again. Um, you know, and higher up the scale, there's, there's other managers at, uh, at higher levels who've been able to do that with, you know, Mourinho and Howard at uh, uh, Bournemouth. So, no, I'm looking forward to the challenge. This club means a hell of a lot to me. Um, and I know it means a hell of a lot to the supporters as well. And at this moment in time, I think we need we need the supporters back and you know they play a massive part in this they, you know uh, i think they do right every life but you know they I, I i missed i have to be honest i missed the home games here i missed the the crowd i missed the the people here because it's a people club and i missed the supporters the atmosphere that was created in in the home games here was absolutely amazing and that East Bank was rocking, and I love that. And we have to, we have to be able to give them something to cheer about, you know. And 
that's that's the challenge. And um, as I say, the supporters are massive to this club, and they mean everything to this club. And we're going to try our best to to get uh, get this place rocking again. And a big part of that was your brand of football, open attacking. That's always been your trademark, and remains so. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's me. Um, I probably have changed slightly uh, on that where I used to like to win 5-4 now it'll be 4-3 <laughs> <laughs> just raining in a little bit yeah just raining in a little bit no no that won't change um, I, I like to have an attack inside I think you know the people that can remember me um, you know what we've done before with the team that we assembled here before it was very attacking um, very pacey very entertaining, very open, and that's why we got some score lines like we did. But uh, ultimately, I want to win football matches, and uh, if we can help and entertain along the way, um, and give some, you know, uh, the crowd and the supporters something to cheer about on a Saturday or a midweek, we'd all be very happy with that. That, as you've already said, that was six and a half years ago. Yeah, you've gained a lot of experience in that time, achieved a lot too. Yeah, I've. Uh, I've had some ups and downs, um, I have to be honest. Um, I've experienced some highs and lows, as I've uh, as touched on, but that makes you uh, probably a better better person, a better manager, because you've experienced different things. You know, it's no, it's no good, you know, if you're tasting success all the time. It's how you cope when things are not possibly going your way. And you find out about not only yourself, your staff, your players, and um, I think I'm in a better position now as a manager to, to be able to deal with certain situations. Um, but only time will tell. So you've already hinted at, at this. What, what can Shots fans expect from, from Gary Wardick? You are a, a slightly different kind of manager. Um, in what way am I slightly different? Well, you've said you've, you've grown, you've, you've got extra experience, you've, yeah. you've changed slightly, but it will still be a, a, a Gary Wardick team at all Shot Town fans. 100%. What's the next season? Uh, 100%. Yeah, I, I'm saying I've changed slightly. Uh, I haven't really. It's, uh, <laughs> look, I, I, I like to assemble squads that, um, how can I put this? I would like to go and watch myself um, and to be the manager of a, a group of players that take on board your philosophy of the way the game should be played, your style, your brand, whatever you want to call it. That's. Um, you know, it's very pleasing when that comes together. And as I touched on uh, earlier on, that, that will take a bit of time. You know, and you know, there's a group of players here at the moment, they need to know their futures. Um, I, I'd have to say about the previous manager, Barry, I think he, in fairness, he's done a, a good job in difficult circumstances. And I would like to wish him well and his family, and he, obviously himself and his career. Um, and, and good luck to him. But. Um, we're here and now, I haven't changed. I'm slightly older, slightly wiser, but I haven't changed. It's, it's been suggested that the club needed somebody who can galvanise those fans that you had such a great, great relationship with to help the club maybe fulfil its potential. And you've already mentioned the word challenge. That's, that's the challenge that you're ready for. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, I've touched on the home support that, we've, that we've, uh, we had and we've got a present, but also the away support as well is phenomenal, really. And, you know, even this morning, you know, I've come in this morning, there's familiar faces. When I come back during the course of the season, um, especially this season, the people that I bumped into and we had a good conversation. I'm one for having a chat. I like, um, you know, talking to the supporters, getting a feel of how things are with themselves as well. But, um, you know, it'd be great, again, to get that relationship with the, uh, the East Bank where we can get that atmosphere in this place going again. As you say, you've... We've seen you back at the Epps Stadium several times this season. Your first task this afternoon will be to assess the squad, will be to speak to the players. That's something you feel you're in a position to do, that you've, you've got enough knowledge about this squad. Yeah, obviously I've seen, I've seen the, uh, the squad of players play on a, a number of occasions uh, this season, which in many ways is very helpful for, uh, for me to make these decisions. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, I have spoken to other members of uh, the club, um, you know, the, the board regarding the players. So, um, yeah, they're tough decisions to make, obviously, um, because it's their careers, it's their livelihoods. Um, 
but also you know you have to make these tough decisions when you're sitting in the manager's chair that's part of the role we have to assemble a group of players that are going to be able to compete entertain and as i said uh, earlier on win football matches so uh, again that's a challenge that i'm looking forward to assemble a group of players that are, that are going to go out every game and give their all for this football club and the first game by some stroke of luck or genius or or foresight or something looks like being against a team you played over 200 games for Queen's Park Rangers that you must already be looking forward to that occasion as your reintroduction to the Ebb Stadium but also meeting up with your former team. Yeah uh, it's a nice game to start off with uh, but there's a lot of uh, hard work uh, from from now to, to that point and that comes very early on in the in the pre-season program as well that game so uh, I'll look forward to that when that comes around um, and then, you know, in terms of uh, recruitment of players, you know, during the course of this summer, we're not going to have a, a big group of players come in tomorrow morning. Um, it'll, it's going to take time and we've got to make sure that we get the right players in, the right recruitments done. Uh, so I'll be looking closer to the pre-season programme for players to be coming in and signing contracts. So, uh, as I say, a lot of hard work to be done before that stage, but uh, I will look forward to that game. I don't need to say this, it's abundantly clear in every word that you're, you've spoken here this morning. You're excited to be back in your manager's office, back as the gaffer and, and ready to get started. Yeah, look, I've been, I've been very fortunate that I, I was able to manage uh, this football club before. Now I've got another opportunity. Um, I know probably none of us thought that would come round again, but uh, you know, um, I'm a lucky man that I'm able to do that and um, it'd be nice put something in place, put a foundation in place now, look forward to the challenge ahead and uh, let's see where that takes us.